I'd like to say hello to all our members across the world. In these challenging times, I hope above all that you and your families are in good health. Every one of us is keeping a close track on the daily developments around the coronavirus outbreak with feelings of concern and uncertainty. We all experience this when speaking to our friends, our family and colleagues, and it's very strange feeling not being able to meet them face to face. I wanted to record this video to let you know that although we're living in a period which has a fundamental impact on the way we go about our lives, the institution is well placed to adapt the way it works to continue to serve you. I should start by saying that IC is taking the COVID-19 pandemic very seriously and all events at the IC up to the 1st of May have been postponed or moved online. This is to protect the health of our members, our staff and the public. All of ICE staff, except a small number of those critical to keeping our IT systems running, are now working from home, as I'm sure are many of you. This period is bound to be a big test of our ability to truly embrace digital forms of communications technology, and it may even accelerate our ability to speak and debate with each other remotely, and it may make us question the long-term need to travel great distances to attend meetings. Now that really would be a great long-term benefit to the planet. For some time now, IC has invested a huge amount of time in making learning content available on its digital platforms, such as the IC website and IC Learning Hub. It's a key part of our strategy to be able to offer this content to all members, wherever they are around the world. As we're all restricted in our daily movements at the moment, it's a great opportunity to go and take a look at this content, which spans every sector of the industry and offers something for everyone, regardless of career stage. I'd also encourage you to look at the blog posts that are regularly updated to the IC website. They contain some really interesting subjects and offer insights into our policy work, technical knowledge, and also the community side of the industry, showing the passion and drive of many of our members. I'd also like to make a comment on the professional leadership that I would expect of every member of this institution. It's our responsibility to keep everyone safe and the predominant advice coming from all governments is to ensure that we follow public health guidelines and ensure social distancing measures can be adopted in instances where we do need our employees to go to work. There are many critically important projects that our members are working on around the globe and where they do have to carry on, then we must consider carefully the safest way to do so. So, in summary, I'd like to reassure you that in these uncertain times, you can be confident that the IC is doing all it can to offer you what you need to be the best you can be at your job, as well as keeping you up to date with the latest thinking in your sector of work. I do hope that you will all keep well through this unprecedented period. Thank you. Thank you.